What is up everybody, Gary Simon here. So today we're going to take a quick look at eight developer portfolios. Now I'm not talking about designers, but actual developers. You know, typically they have pretty ugly user interfaces because, well, they're not designers, but these are the exceptions. So most of them I probably wouldn't rate a 10. There's one that I'm strongly considering it, so make sure to keep watching. So let's start with these are in no particular order. And this is Alalu, I have no clue on how to pronounce that, dot dev. All right, so first thing, love the color scheme, all right? Uh, not afraid to use color, and it's, it's used very well here. Uh, you see it's like the two column approach. Notice the various design accents to just break up the monotony of the, you know a lot of the solid colors here. Um, the type is all great. What font is that? Uh, not sure, I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm in on incognito right now, so I don't have access to my, uh, uh, my fonts here, but uh, my what font extension, but uh, there is scroll hijacking, but it's not bad. Sometimes people could do it in a sense that's like, uh, it really just makes it difficult to navigate, but I'm having no problem navigating here essentially. And it, it I just really like everything here. Uh, the type is good. Illustrations right here are good. Very solid. I don't like this right here. You should never, you know, on, on desktop, like a, a really large resolution like this. I you don't need this hamburger menu. You could just, you know, especially with the amount of links that are here, so there's, only, there's only three of them. Uh, that's the one thing I dislike about this. Otherwise, very solid. Also, something to note, notice I, uh, the quality of this headshot here. It's, it's a professional photo. You should definitely invest, if you have a, a developer, designer portfolio of any sort, sort and you wanna show yourself, uh, and you certainly should if it's just, you know, based on you, I. Uh, invest in a little photo shoot or something so that you know you're not sitting there with your crappy cell phone camera all right so let's check out another one now this one is this i thought actually i've seen this portfolio before i may have even shown it uh in one context or another um on this channel but this is from Bit, uh, Brittany chang i uh, very simple i like the color scheme um and if I zoom up here, because I am on the 4K resolution maxed out uh, browser, we can see things a little bit clearly. Um, very, you know, it, it's basically, this is what you almost call a pure typographic layout because there's there's not much happening outside of just type itself, but the type is very well constructed. We have really good, what's called visual typographic visual hierarchy. Uh, you know, we have four different elements here. Hi, my name is, we can see it's clearly, I designed differently from this headline right here which is you know very big and bold as it should we have a description and then we have the button all these things are i uh, established very well in a visual hierarchy sense very simple i uh, i on scroll just fade in for the content section nothing too crazy happening all the type is good very well structured here cards all very well designed you can see there's good white space in between each one of them they're all set up the same exact height uh, and they're also good inside uh, inner padding or uh, white space all the fundamentals completely nailed right here so this makes a really very solid portfolio I wouldn't rate it a 10 probably in the nines for sure next up is nash.dev so let's check this out very simple uh, little loading icon uh, let's let's refresh this to see um, the animation that occurred here. Very simple. Notice it's literally less than one second long. That's what you want when it comes to your motion design. Um, checking this out, I yeah. I let's scroll down and you know this one very well structured type, like as in the previous example. Um, you can see there's a lot of things happening here semantically. We have a title, we have a, a subhead, and this is a, a great way. I mean, this is almost maximum contrast in terms of uh, visual hierarchy. If you look at these two elements, um, this is this is just a, a typical title case. Then we have all uppercase, uh, completely different colors, different font sizes, works very well. Um, yeah, everything is just perfectly structured here in terms of the type. Here's just a now. One thing I don't like is this. Like if you if you if you want to hover over something, you want to click it. You don't want to really want to hide uh, with these large, you know, over, blue overlays. Outside of that, you know, as is, it's all uh, it it's structured very well right here. Um, 
The contact form, I'm never like too much of a fan. One thing I, I, I don't like here is notice you could barely see the outline of the actual uh, text field. Um, I also think that the, these labels should be right in line with the column established by the actual uh, placeholder value in there. But again, these are tiny, tiny critiques, so I probably wouldn't rate this one a 10. Um, but still, I, I love the type. I, I would say that's the strength of this particular design is the type. Now, chances are, if you're watching this video, you probably want to be a better designer. And if that's the case, how much do you really want it? Because at designcourse.com, I've created a UI UX course that will help you go from designing layouts that I might rate a four or five up to eight and beyond. But more important than that, as a better designer, this means that you can land higher paying clients and jobs. This course includes over 16 hours of video, 40 interactive UI design tests, and even mentorship, where I personally take a look at your work that you submit, I review it, and many times I also revise it, providing you with great feedback to help you become a better designer. Now, for this video, I want you to use the coupon code UI2022, and that will give you 22% off at checkout. Next up, now Dan Spratling, this is somebody I believe I follow on Twitter, um, and this is a, an excellent, simple website. So if I refresh, very subtle animation. So if you include, a lot of people, especially if you're new, you get excited because you can move things around, you have the ability to create animations, they just, they, they overdo it and it just makes the experience of visiting website just crappy. So if you're gonna do it, like I said, keep it within, you know, especially uh, your hero section, less than a second. All right, so again, great type that's established here. Picture of himself, it's not, you know, it washed out, it's, it's not pixelated, it's not blurry, always very important. Very simple call to action. And there we go. Now the one thing I don't like about this is the footer. So it just feels like it's just lacking in terms of structure and, and good space utilization uh, because we have a this, this big empty area over here. So I think this area of the, uh, the design is probably the weakest point, uh, but it could easily be improved. Having said that, still very solid design. Like it a lot. All right, let's do Rob Bowen dot digital. Let's check this one out. All right, so hi, my name is Rob. All right, check this out. So I included this one because, well, first of all, the design is excellent right here. Um, I like the serif font right here. Serif font as well. Uh, we have a texture in the background with the little 45 degree angle uh, lines right here and then most importantly is just there's a character a character a character how do you say that a char caricature oh my god of this individual a cartoon um and he actually responds the eye movement to where your cursor is so things like that you can call the x factor or just being really unique and creative that's what will set you up for being a level above the rest of the competition who's just doing the cookie cutter template approaches uh, so this is excellent um, coming down let's work together about my approach this person actually created a Visual Studio code theme called Synthwave 84 and it has like 800,000 downloads very very cool but yeah, notice the uh, consistent usage of uh, illustrations and icons. Always wanna make sure you're working off the same set. And very simple. We do have a menu here with just a few, you know, again, I don't like that. Uh, nonetheless, very solid design. Let's check out michaelpumo.com here. All right, so really like the unique take on the color scheme here. Um, Let's work together, very simple, good type. Let's scroll down. Ah, okay, so that's different. This is a fixed column right here that stays together so that you always see this call to action, let's work together. So that's a, a, a cool, a unique approach. Notice, I love the consistent application of all the different uh, brands he's worked with. Notice how some of it is fixed 
And there you go. Very, very simple, but also unique. Excellent design here. Now this one isn't an actual like single developer. This is a this is a actual studio, a web development studio. I decided to include this one because it is so 100% unique. Check this out. So creativity, originality, fort, uh, fortitude. Pick it up and drop it. Look at that. Good type as well. Let's try originality. Let's try the other one. And then finally, they bring out another card, I, uh, people, and then you're able to kind of get a more traditional approach, see who's behind the studio. Uh, very, very, very solid. Uh, so think about that, you know, when you're, you're making a, your developer portfolio or your design, especially a designer portfolio, uh, think about how you can do things that are really, really unique. That's what's gonna ultimately make you stand out the most like I said. And then finally, we have vanholtz.co. All right, so this is an absolutely just, it's it's nuts. I, I love this approach. Um, the, the type right here, this is all essentially just projects this person uh, has worked with or completed and very unique. Like I said, think about being unique. Let's click on one of these. Look at this freaking awesome it opens up into just a full case study essentially and it is all very very solid let's i uh, let's come back here and look at another one studio mega all right look at this i mean all the type is on point very subtle scroll-based animation. So this one out of, I would say, all eight is probably what I would say is the absolute best. And in my mind is probably as close to a 10 that you can possibly, probably you know, conceivably get in my mind at least. Very, very solid uh, and very unique. Um, and, and if it was just this, and you clicked on this and maybe it showed a thumbnail, I wouldn't say it's great, but the fact that it opens up into a full user interface that really kind of just shows their ability to design well, uh, this is awesome. Very, very, very awesome. All right, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Just a quick video today looking at uh, other developer portfolios, hopefully something that inspired you. So as always, make sure to subscribe, check out designcourse.com, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.